In Animator Friendly Rigging Part 3, we began to extend JJ's rig to handle arms and fingers. While doing this, we explored forward and inverse kinematics, set-driven keyframing, expressions, utility nodes, and creating complicated hierarchies in order to get interaction that's easy for the animator to use. In Animator Rigging Part 4, we're going to continue this process by rigging the legs of the character JJ. We're going to take a look at some other important elements of creating animation rigs, mirroring controls, snapping, UI creation, and additional rigging ideas. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and extend our JJ rig so he has legs and feet that are a joy to work with. Just as we did for JJ's torso, arms, and hands, we need to take a look at some reference for the legs to figure out what it is that a character actually needs to do and what our legs need to be able to do. If you look in the movies directory of the included files, you'll notice that there's a series of movies for creating or for the legs for that we can use for reference. So if we take a look at the first one, this is Bryce and he's running up a wall, leaping or running up to a wall, leaping onto it and running off. And so let's take a look at what his legs are doing. As his legs are running up, it's just a standard, you know, foot plant, swing forward, stuff like that. Nothing too complicated. Then when he swings up, his leg comes around the top. And you can see he pushes off with his toe, his leg extends, and then lands on the side of his foot. And he rolls around like this, the leg comes around, and now he's up on the toe, pivoting around and pushing off. So we need to make sure that our legs can push off of the, by the ball of the foot, swing around, and uh, move in FK mode, and then land and keep going. In the second example, Carlos is doing push-ups, and you can see that his knees are locked down. So having the ability to actually lock the character's body, or lock the knees, to the ground is going to be something that's also very important. In this movie, Kevin is jumping up, planting his foot on the ground, and pushing off and rolling. And in the final movie, you can see that I'm running around, jumping, Again, pushing off with my with the ball of my foot, spinning the legs around. Here they go, sliding up on their heel. Foot comes around, lands on the side, pivots to go flat. And then I keep running off. So go out yourself and try running around for a bit. See what your legs do. Analyze the, how the force of the movement is coming from or where it's coming from. Is it pushing off the ground? Is your hip pulling your foot? Is it swinging from the thigh? There are a number of motivator, m motivators for creating motion with your legs, and it's important to understand exactly what's driving everything. So remember, providing more than just locomotion, legs help convey force and drive. So based off of our reference, we can come up with some general leg motion requirements for our legs. First is inverse kinematics for general locomotion. We want to be able to put the foot wherever it needs to be and have the knee do the correct thing. Um, it's also important to be able to lock the knee to the ground if necessary. We also need forward kinematics for specific situations, like if the character is jumping and the legs are just going to be flailing through the air. 